you have an electric choke on your car, especially a classic car. If you do, you may have wondered how they work. Well, you know they get hot. The electricity makes them get hot, and that makes the thermostatic spring move, which opens your choke. So this is a typical one. This was a one that seemed to have stopped working on my Holly. It looked like it had a bad connection, so you can see I tried soldering that loose part there, and it didn't seem to really fix it. And I eventually replaced it with a new one. So I decided to take this apart, see what the heck was in it that made it get hot. So this is the insides. You can see the thermostatic spring. When that gets hot, it rotates just like a thermostat for your house, and it makes the choke go off. So I've already taken it apart, and i put the pieces back together to show them to you. So that's the spring, and the spring is staked to that center piece, so we can pull that spring out. So we take that spring out, and we see what looks like the stove underneath it. And what the heck is that? Well, if you remember from the other side, so when everything's together, it sits like that. And on the left and the right, there's a rivets that hold it together. On the other side, those rivets, there's, uh, you can see the one on the right is for one connection and the one on the left is for the positive connection. So when we flip it over, that positive one's in the middle and the negative one will be on what's to our left. The rivets that come through, one goes here makes contact with this plate. And the other one is in the center. And when we lift this off, we see that there's a spring, that, and that spring is attached to that other contact. Now the third rivet isn't connected to anything. It's just used to hold the other side of this plate down. So when we look at the bottom of the plate, what do we see? Well, there's something there, I don't know exactly what. It looks like a piece of white paper. And that is what presses against that spring. That white paper is attached to a disc. There's the disc. The disc appears to have white heat transfer compound. It's kind of dried up now, so it's almost turned back to a powder. So that disc was pushed up against this plate. So the electricity flow is between the spring, goes to this disc, which the spring seems to sit on the white paper. The disc sits on this large piece, which the spring is attached to. And then the current flows and the whole mess gets hot. Well, this doesn't get hot anymore, and that's why I took it apart, trying to figure out, well, why not? Uh, the resistance of this spring, the spring's not the heater. I've measured the resistance, and there's essentially no resistance in the spring. There seems to be no resistance to this material, whatever it is. If there is resistance, it's certainly low. There seems to be no resistance in this disk. And so... I don't know how this thing gets hot. Apparently it's got something to do with uh, this white piece of paper or whatever it is that the spring sits against that semi, apparently semi insulates it or something from the rest of this thing because somehow it gets hot. And it may be that the, the key to it is this white stuff that dried up. Maybe that is the resistance element somehow. So if anybody knows, I'd be interested in knowing. So this stopped working and I bought a new one. New one works fine. And the new one, you know, I measured the amp draw on that just for just to see. It only draws about one amp. So, you know, that's plenty of amps to get hot. And it gets good and hot after less than two minutes. Usually by about a minute, it's already started to pull the choke off. And the other thing with these, which I discovered on this, the first one I bought as a replacement had the spring going in the wrong direction when it heated up. So you do need to pay attention if you do buy a replacement. You can see this has a, a, 
descriptive thing that says lean and an arrow. The arrow's just to the right of the word left, to the left of that word lean. You turn it this way if you need to lean the choke out. Well, the first one I bought had the arrow pointing the other direction. I didn't realize that at first, so the hotter it got, the more the choke went on. So you will want to pay attention to that when you buy a replacement, should you ever need one.